Okay, we're going to use the past statistical software. I'll show it to you in a minute. But how you get it? First of all, we're going to use it because it's fantastic. It's very easy to understand. It's been written by Oivin Hammer at the Oslo Natural History Museum. And uh, it has a fantastic user guide which is very easy to, to read compared to other statistical software. And the way you get it is you just write past statistics. And there it is. Now you can download Windows and uh, Mac versions and you can download the user guide and this is what you're gonna get. Now before we import the data let's just have a short additional look at it. As I told you there are samples, each row constitutes a sample and there are species. But later on during this intro I will be using this column, the sample column and let's say these are different times. I did 16 repetitions on my first sampling campaign. And then I did some more repetitions during the se second sampling campaign, etc. So if I want to be able to use this column, the way I need to open it is first I have to close Excel. In order to read the data in past, I have to close the Excel. And then, just file open. And it's this file. Now I have to define the headers. And uh, since I want to use the first column as data, as grouping data, I have to define that I only have data, data cells, and within the columns, I want the species to be counted as, as a variable. I want the species name to be counted as a, a variable, so I add the names and I open it. As you can see, my first column is what I call the sample. And then I have how many quadrates, let's say, were empty, how many samples were empty, empty, how many had grasses in them, etc. This is the column heading, and these are the rows, and I have now imported the data.